What's up, divas? What's up, divas? Hey, everybody. What's up? Your girl's back with a, yeah, it's not a wig video. Okay, it's definitely not. But it's gonna be easy and summer friendly. Well, definitely out here in Arizona where it'd be like 123 for no reason at all. It's gonna be a problem. Okay. Okay. So a girl be trying to just stay cool. Y'all know what I be saying. Cool and cute. CC friendly. I trying to be passing out on nobody's streets by wearing a lace wig. You're being a bit dramatic right now. So I have been trying to stay cool and let my head breathe. So today's video should be Easy peasy, a lemon squeezy, okay? For those of you guys who like ponytails, I like something easy. I think like my favorite texture, I always say this, is pinky and yakky texture. Um, Really simple, it comes with the combs. Y'all gonna see how she comes and all that good stuff. I like when it's like this texture or yakky straight. Those are like the best ponytails to me because I feel like they look the most natural to me. I mean, I could be wrong, but you know, I'm a flat iron this bad boy. The first thing first, we're going to show you guys, or we, we, well, it's me and you guys watching this. So we, me, we, we're going to see how the, your ponytail comes. And of course, I'm definitely going to have to go from looking like this to a ponytail. So let's get that started. And we're just going to jump into this from there. When you receive your unit or your ponytail, you'll receive it in the OMG Queen Standard Black Packaging. However, mine was a little damaged during transition. You'll also receive an aftercare service card, which will tell you how to return your ponytail or your unit if you choose to. The ponytail that I received is a 20 inch kinky straight drawstring ponytail, and she's easily, easily applied. All you need to do is brush your hair into your own natural ponytail, pin it down, and then apply your drawstring ponytail. This hair is actually very pretty and long and full and will make a great hair accessory for the summer heat, even the fall and winter months. This kinky straight hair can also be flat ironed or hot combed as well as curled with heat if you choose to change the look up. The texture of this is very natural and looks very realistic when applied the correct way. OMG Queen also sent one of these beautiful head scarves which you can either use to lay your hair down or you can use while you're wearing your lace wig or your ponytail. This is a really nice head scarf and will make a great accessory to any hair collection. OMG Queen has many different units to choose from and has been around for many years with affordable lace wigs, full lace, glueless lace fronts, as well as ponytails. Make sure you check them out. I'll leave all of their information down below for you guys as I'm sure there's something for everyone on their website. Okay guys, so it's time to take out these two corn rolls that I've been rocking for probably like two days. This is what my hair looks like once I take the braids out and you know I had to have a sip of that iced coffee from one of my favorite places is Dee Dee's. Now just to moisturize my hair, I'm going to be using the Mark Anthony's coconut oil but because the weather is so hot out here, this is what happens. Normally it's a very solid texture but because it's so daggone hot, yes. It melts but either way I like when it melts because it just is easily moisturized and then I'm just going to go ahead and spray my hair with some water and some of the Shea Naturals or whatever it's called leave-in conditioner which I picked up at the Dollar Tree. For one I really don't like doing ponytails because they make your arms tired okay I'm not sure about you guys but my arms be getting tired from doing a ponytail as you guys can tell 
I'm just going to continue to brush it up and I'm also going to take my hair and I'm going to use one of these elastics that I cut open and I use these to wrap my own ponytail. This makes it a lot easier versus pulling your hair through the ponytail holder because then when you do that it ends up being messed up. Now I've been using this Edge Natural for like two months to grow in my edges. I thought it was working and it's, it is but it's working really slow okay. I'm not a very patient person. And I mean, I have seen some improvement, but honestly, not what I wanted, but I'm just going to continue to use this. But like I said, I did see some growth and I guess it all depends on how consistent you are. Okay. So yeah, I did miss a whole week. Okay. Big deal. But hey, now to fill in my thinning edges, I'm going to be using the Boldify Hair Thickening Fibers. You can use this for thin edges and balding spots. It does not come with the spray nozzle that did come from my other brand which was Topic but you can get these nozzles anywhere and I just tap lightly so that way it doesn't look too thick at the hairline and the color that I'm using is a dark brown but this does come in a variety of colors and you just have to look up Boldify. There's so many different hair fibers out now that you know you can find one that's a lot more affordable but just keep in mind that the product does differ if you get cheaper in price. So I mean I do like Boldify way better than Topic um, definitely. So now I'm going to take this beautiful scarf and tie my hair down so that way I can put on this ponytail. I love, I love, I love kinky straight hair. You guys know how much I love kinky straight hair. I think it's like one of the most natural looking textures next to Yaki. So I was really pleased with this ponytail. As you guys can tell, it has so many ripples in it. It just looks so natural. So I'm just going to take it and brush it and then I'm going to take my flat iron and just flat iron it straight because I wanted to see how well, you know, the hair would revert to, you know, just like a silkier texture or not silkier, but just a straighter texture. And honestly, flat iron this took no time at all. I was going to use my hot comb, but hey, look at this very flowy and natural. So if you want it straighter, you can definitely do that. And then here we go with the drawstring and the two combs. Yes, a girl did have to breathe. So I found out a trick to doing this. Make sure that you kind of like pull it inward before applying it because I didn't used to do that. I used to just put it on flat and try to pull it and the damn thing would come off. Make sure you put your drawstring and hide that too. You don't want to be walking outside thinking you cute and stuff and you got your drawstring hanging. Now I'm just going to take some of the hairs from the back and spray some of this bedhead hairspray on it and wrap it around the front. Since it's a drawstring ponytail, it kind of has like a hump. So if you want to make it look more natural as possible, you just want to take the hair from the back portion and just pull it around and just wrap it around until you, you know, you're at the end. And then you want to just take your bobby pins or your hair pins and pin it in place. But make sure you use some hair spray so that way, you know, it just stays neat. I did not intend for my ponytail to be up this high. I really don't like my ponytails this high. I normally like them back a little bit. And as you guys see, it still has some of that ripple effect in it. But I mean, it looks really good. But I'm a ponytail person that I have to have my ponytail like in the middle of my head. I just really don't want to look like a horse or I dream a genie or anything like that. But listen, let me pop on this lip gloss because my lips are a little dry. And then I'm going to be using this Pat McGrath Labs Dark Star Mascara. I did receive this as a gift or gifted this from Oxley. And you can check out Oxley. They have many different items to choose from, especially if you do any type of videos or social media. You're gifted the products and in return for an unbiased review. I do like this mascara. I've worn this about three times and it does make your lashes look really full. And now to move on to just correcting my under eye I'm going to be using the billion dollar brushes concealer along with their highlight which is a dual set and it also came with one of their concealer brushes this was also gifted to me as well from Oxley in return for an unbiased review and I will tell you guys this I love the billion dollar brushes they have amazing brushes I actually got a two I had two sets in my um boxy charm box so on the end the other end of this concealer stick is a highlight and you can use it for your eyes or wherever you want to use it it's more or less a champagne color one of my favorites and i'm just going to use it on my lips my nose and in my my eyes very pretty color and thank you Oxley for this amazing product. I do like all of them. So this is how it looks and turned out. I think the ponytail is gorgeous but you know if you put it lower it's going to even look longer. I mean hey your girl is in love with the ponytail. It's super hot out here and I just like to do just a style that you know I'm not trying to die in the heat. 
So I'm just going to show you how I'll put it up in a bun real quick by twisting the braids on each side and then gathering them together and also twisting them as well. There's many different ways you can do a bun. It just depends on what look you're going for. So today I'm just going to wrap it around like so. And then I'm just going to use some hairpins to pull it all together because you do see it splitting at the top. But I'm just going to use some hairpins because I wanted to kind of give it like a knotted look. And then that's that. And then I'll also show you guys some other options that you can do with a ponytail or a bun, which is really classic because, listen, it's hot. And I have really, really started loving to wear headbands, regardless of if I got a headband wig on or whatever. I think it'll look super cute with a bun as well as a ponytail. So check this out that I did get from a store called Five Below. I'm saying OMG Queen is rocking out with these ponytails and I love their quality. That is the finished look for this ponytail. I like the flow of it. It's very long, 20 inches, but you know, it could it can look even longer if you put the ponytail lower. I did not intend for the ponytail to be up this high. I honestly didn't because I really don't like my ponytails up that high. Then I start feeling like I dream a genie, okay? If you guys don't know who I dream a genie is, that's probably because y'all are really young. But yes, I don't really like my ponytails up that high. I prefer them like kind of like midway right here. I'm kind of comfortable with that. I don't really want to walk outside with like this really high ponytail. But it didn't look bad. And the hair is not heavy. So that's a plus. I'm not like the hugest fan of drawstring ponytails. I will be honest. But this one was easy. I have learned the tricks of how to make this thing stay on. Not just this drawstring ponytail, but just anyone. Pull it kind of closed in together. Prior to putting it on, that will help. If you don't do that, girl, I don't know what to tell you. But that makes it a lot easier for me. Girl, listen, a bun is cool all day, especially if it's that high up. I'm going to just rock this out with a bun. This scarf that they sent is hella cute, okay? Go outside like this for the day. Like, hey, this is just a really pretty scarf. I like this. You could just do like a whole bunch of stuff with it. You could be a pirate for the day if you want. You could be somebody bougie and wrap it around your neck and act like you got a million bucks with your little inexpensive hair okay i'm just saying that's what i was thinking styling options are all um just endless with this so on that note i love you guys make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up as you should and a girl will see you on the next one get them spin them but listen my shoe in the denim i put the records on them big bands can't bend them ops we hit them fuck them off